I've had this bag now for a couple months and I've been meaning to make a video about it because it is so awesome. Now this is probably the best bag that I have found for video production or photography because it is so huge. Now it may be hard to tell now, but once I get into it, you're gonna see how big this thing is, how much it can fit, and just how awesome it actually is. I've been looking for a bag like this for a long time. I've gone through a lot of different backpacks because I definitely want the backpack style, way easy to carry around and this is the best one. I'm gonna show you why. So first and foremost, we got the outside pockets. We'll get to those in a little bit, but first you open it up and inside we've got your typical layout for you know a photography bag or you know, I guess in my case it'd be a video bag, but a photography bag. And it's a little messy right now because we're in the middle of a shoot, so stuff is a little disorganized, but hopefully you can see that you can fit a ton of stuff in here. Probably a camera body here, lens, maybe some cards, maybe a few extra lenses, batteries, the whole deal a good chunk of stuff can go right in here. Now, we've also got some uh, zippy pouches up here for cables, cards, whatever you want. I have uh, some extra cables in here, just, you know, like phone chargers and whatnot. But out here, we've got a similar thing where we've got a top pouch here. You can put stuff in there, obviously. We've got another pouch here, and we've got another pouch here. So a lot of these like little miniature pouches, which I love because they help keep things really organized. You can kind of compartmentalize your different pieces. And if you know you need your battery pack or something that's really important that you need quick access to, put it out here. Uh, something that you may, you know, not always need, but you need access to, you can put up here. However you want to organize it, whatever makes sense to you. Now, down here is where things get really cool. There's this entire extra section of more space. You can fit so much stuff in here. Look at this. This is deep, okay? So this is the full depth of the backpack. I got a hard drive, got battery chargers. Like I said, it's a little disorganized right now. Mics, all sorts of stuff. So you can fit so much in here. And the reason I love this for video is that a lot of times, you know, photographers, maybe they got one camera body, two camera bodies, a couple lenses, some batteries, and that's pretty much it. Maybe a few other little uh, odds and ends. For video, you need lights, you need audio, you need all these extra things. Well, I need, you need lights for photography too, but not always the case. You definitely need audio though. And so having the extra space, yeah, it makes the bag a little bit bigger, makes it a little bit heavier, but I like being able to have kind of an all-in-one solution. This pouch here, even comes out on its own. Let's see if I can get it with one hand. It's a little difficult. But that whole pouch just comes out. So if you had something in here that was just kind of isolated, standalone, that you wanted to hand off to somebody else, you can just take that pouch right out. And obviously you get all this space back uh, if you wanted to remove this pouch and have not quite as padded, you know, uh, of, a, of a space, you could use that as well. But I leave it in there for the little, little bit extra protection that it gives me. Now, what else does this thing have? Well, you've got your kind of typical side pouches, but you've also got, let's see if I can do this without everything falling out. You've got other little zippy pouches here too. Just extra stuff, different places to put things. I love that. It's like cargo shorts, but for a backpack. It's amazing. Now, what else do we have? laptop slot. So, oftentimes, you have a laptop, put it right in there. That's great. Or, what we've been doing is we found this cool Yongnuo Air Light that's a super thin LED light. That slides right in there too. So if you don't have a laptop, there's another slot for stuff. And these arm, these little arm uh, shoulder straps, super padded. I don't know if you can see that. But that's thick padding. It's really comfortable. And the way this, even though this is really big and can get heavy depending on how much you put in it, the way the weight is distributed, it actually doesn't even feel as heavy as some of the other backpacks I've had that have sat like more lower with all of their stuff or higher with all their stuff. This is very evenly distributed with the weight. A lot of comfy padding all over it to make it really comfortable. So. When I got this, see, look at that. It's all falling out because I'm trying to do it with one hand. But when I got this, I was blown away and I knew I had to make a video about it because this thing is only like 80 bucks. That's the great thing. This is some random brand ever, ever case. I don't even know. Is that a name brand? It could be. But it's just 
it's awesome. There's so much room, and I've been looking for a extra large, you know, photo backpack for a long time. Finally found this one, and had to share it, because it's 80 bucks. You look at a lot of photography backpacks, and they're charging like $300 for something that, really, it's a backpack. As long as it's doing its job holding your stuff, why does it need to be $300? This one's 80, totally worth it. Such a good deal. You can fit so much stuff in here. And I hope I covered every pocket. There might be extra pockets that I, I may have missed. I don't even know. There's so many, oh, you can put your tripod through here, you know, do one of those kind of things. So flexible, so versatile. Best backpack for photo or for video.